Hey guys, it's Hyper, and if you guys have been playing Halo Infinite within the past month or so using an NVIDIA GPU, you may have noticed that your load times have spiked through the roof, and I'm here to show you the only one and perfect fix to get it back to loading up uh, nice and snappy again. Now what had happened was the update for the NVIDIA drivers that came out within this time. For people who did auto update their drives or manually update their drives, they noticed this super decrease in the loading times. So, or increase in loading times, right? So it was crazy. It was taking six to 12 minutes to load into the game. And then once you're loaded in, switching between tabs would take like three, four, five minutes. Switching between campaign and multiplayer was like another two or three minutes. And then um, loading into games would take like three to four minutes, which is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, it had to do with optimization of the game for different drivers and um, firmware architecture of different GPUs. Now be careful because if you check on the Twitter from um, Halo support, you can see that they were talking about it here. Uh, let's see if we can find it really quick. Right here it is. It says NVIDIA has released an updated driver that addresses the long loading screen for launching Halo Infinite. Download version 546.01 here. That is not true. This actually made it even worse for me and I can prove it here in the video if you just watch. And if you don't care about the um, proof, go ahead and skip to the part of the video that I'll put up here on the screen that shows you where to get the actual fix. So 53758 is what you want. Even though Halo Support says this is the one, this is not it. They are wrong. They haven't tested it. There's no way they have because I have and uh, I tested it on three computers. This does not work. This does. Anyways, let's get back to the rest of the video. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. Let me give a quick demonstration of what it looks like. It's a pain in the ass. Um, and here you go. So let me show you exactly what's happening when we press play. Now, I know I am not the only one going through this. There are dozens of posts on Steam, on the app page, in the Microsoft store, all over Reddit. Of a ton of people having the exact same issue with Halo Infinite since the update. People were thinking, oh, it's the update, it's just really high on the graphic, blah, 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 this and that. No, they didn't really change anything. It's literally just a problem with the driver itself. I don't know what would cause that. I'm not a uh, silicon designer. I don't do that stuff, but uh, here we are. So, oddly enough, it's like in full screen for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't put it like that, but... Uh, um, yeah, you look at this a little bit of time. We're just gonna sit here for a little bit so I can show you guys how crawling it is. And you can see it's moving. It's just moving a tiny bit at a time. Now, when I timed this before this video, before I started recording, it took me up to 12 minutes to load into the game. 12 minutes, guys, that's absolutely crazy. It's not taking that long right now, but it was earlier. So um, I've messed with the drivers a little bit since then, so it's been a lot better, but um, you can still see it is a crawl. It is a crawl. It's not 12 minutes right now. It'll probably be done in like five or six minutes, depending on how slow it goes, but that's just unacceptable in every single way. Don't even get me started too. You try to load into a campaign game, it takes forever. You try and load into a multiplayer game, it takes forever. Switching between campaign and uh, multiplayer back and forth takes forever. So I'm gonna show you exactly um, how to fix that. So let's close out a Halo right now. Let's let it do its thing, we'll minimize this. Now, if we go into GeForce Experience, which you can go onto Google and download GeForce Experience, that's how a lot of people update their drivers automatically. Um, you can see that GeForce Game Ready Driver, version 546.01, release date was 10-31-2023, which is about right. We need to revert that back to an older version, I'll show you how to do that. Now, in order to do this, we are going to go to the internet, and I'll put the link in the video description, but the version we want is the GeForce Game Ready Driver version 537.58. And this was 10-10-2023. Uh, so this was only like 10 days before the other one. Okay, so we're gonna click download. Just press download. And again, this is a trusted site. This is coming from NVIDIA themselves. So don't worry about being afraid that it's like malware or something like that. It's not. Okay, now that it's completed, we're gonna open the file. Double click that. And you can see it says one right here because I already have it done before. Um, okay. Let's close out of GeForce Experience for now while it's loading. Could take a minute. All right, so it's gonna open the NVIDIA package launcher. 
You're gonna just click yes on that, press okay. They're gonna save the um, files so they can actually unpack them and install them. Just let them do their thing. And I did show you guys which version I had, so this is just showing you right now what it's gonna be like. Video Graphics Driver version 537.58, perfect. You can go ahead and close out of our browser now, we don't really need that open anymore. All right, agree, continue. Um, I do custom, the reason you want to do custom is because you want to do a clean installation so there are no artifacts or anything left behind from the other driver version all right so perform a clean ins installation make sure that's checked and then press next <clears throat> and let's let it do its thing all right guys i'm back sorry about the quick cut in the video but um what happened was since i was using obs and it uses my nvec encoder um, it crashed during the update, which is to be expected. So what happens is let the install process finish, and then I recommend closing all programs and restarting the computer after it is finished successfully. I have done that. It's a fresh restart on my computer. So what we're gonna do is go to look for NVIDIA experience or a GeForce experience. Start typing it in in the search bar at the bottom left, and then we're just gonna click it to open it up. Once you're in the GeForce Experience application, go to the top right uh, to this little gear icon. Then you're at the top and you can see that it says uh, all my specs and then it says driver version 537.58, meaning it was successfully downgraded to the previous version, which is going to be fantastic. So let's uh, show you what it looks like now that we load back in with this downgrade. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, the Xbox app and we're going to launch Halo Infinite like we normally would and you're about to watch how fast it loads up now, now that we went back to the uh, prior driver for NVIDIA. Got the splash screen, now we're actually loading into the start sequence of the game. And pay attention to the loading bar at the bottom, how much faster it is. Now this is in real time, so don't worry, I didn't speed it up or anything like that. And honestly, the game looks just as good. So since all my other games look fine, I haven't had a game that needs a driver update to run better. I'm just going to keep it at this until it's something that they fix. And uh, the Halo devs said they were looking into it. But who knows with 343, they take uh, they take their sweet time unless they're making some money off of every uh, little bit of thing. So we'll see. And you can see like not even, not even 10 seconds and we're already completely loaded up, which is fantastic. And there we are. Before, it was taking six to 12 minutes to load into the game. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely ridiculous considering my computer. It's by no means a low end computer. Um, now let's double check. Let's load up campaign. And if we load up campaign, you'll see that uh, the campaign loading is fairly quick too. So let's check it out. It's gonna close out and then it's gonna open the game up again, but the campaign version, and there you go. Look how quick it loaded. That was like instantly. It's absolutely, absolutely fast. Uh, and here we are, infinite campaign. Um, and just to show you guys that it'll load the campaign quickly too, we are just going to press continue and you guys can see how fast we actually load in. 5, 35, 54, 99, launching. All right, here's the actual loading screen of us transitioning into the game state. Should be pretty quick here too. And there we are. Again, less than 10 seconds. So... You can see that it has all been fixed by reverting to the uh, 5.37. I think 98 or 58, one of the two. Um, I will put a link to that driver inside this video. Um, and you, don't worry, it's a safe download. You can get it from the NVIDIA website. That's the link we'll be, uh, I will be putting down there for you guys. And um, stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and uh, bug fixes, hopefully, in the future. Y'all are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.